Well, it snowed again, so it's definitely time to clear snow. It's supposed to snow over the next few days. We've got about four inches so far over the last night. Got to do some snow shoveling and then get the snow thrower out. And we'll hope that it works. They're like all falling at once. Like a good wind gust will come yeah. through. Clearing out the roof of the shed has taken me a solid hour. Um, it's wet, heavy snow mixed with like freezing rain. So there's probably a foot, over a foot of snow accumulated on here. So I'm glad I got it cleared off. It's finally stopped snowing today. It's been snowing, I think for the past five days and we've got a lot of snow to clear off and we're kind of doing a little bit each day but uh, i want to measure how much we got i think we're supposed to get another six inches in the next several days it looks like we got 13 and a half inches So you're having to do this, why? <laughs> why do you I can't start this by the pull cord. Why? Because it won't go. That's why I gotta overhaul this completely. Okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do. I, I checked out a bunch of books for the library yeah, for that. So what I'm gonna do is start this up, and plug this in an electric start, because this is an electric starter. Okay. I probably should have brought that up here before I turned it off. I need to pull the ladder out so I can get on top of the shipping container and clear off all this heavy snow.
we learned why we clean off our shipping container during these heavy snows. Last year we didn't clear it off at all and we noticed that it started to concave and bow in the middle part inward. And the more we thought about it, it made sense because shipping containers on the perimeters are really strong, heavy steel. The top of these shipping containers are not designed to sustain a heavy load on them as far as weight goes. So this year we are cleaning it off as the snow happens. And it looks like we have over a foot up here going on. I just racked up the shipping container and it probably took about 25 minutes to do. So I'm gonna stand in the middle and can you see me bouncing here? The reason it's so bouncy is this, you know, structure is 40 feet long and there's nothing, you know, no mid-line structure whatsoever. It's got a lot of give right here. So we try to keep this cleared off to make this last as long as possible. Maybe someday you can teach me to be like you. <laughs> Every day we replenish our firewood. Um, some weeks we have warmer temperatures where like this week it's starting out to be in the 30s. So we'll use significantly less firewood than we would in the 20s. And when it's negative 30 degrees, we use a lot of wood, a lot of wood. And we like to keep our house at 74 degrees Fahrenheit. It's really hard to regulate the thermometer on that because you're working with, you know, wood and a little window, you know, that you can open and close to try to make it the right temperature. You know, other times you go upstairs to go to bed and it's, you know, 100 degrees up there. So we have to open the window. If it's 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside, we know, okay, we're gonna go through about this much wood. This is, you know, where we need to keep the window open, that kind of thing. The window on the uh, wood stove, that is. Amazing broken stuff. 